Hey so guys, it's Eve Rose and welcome back to my channel. Before we begin with the video, I would like to give some sort of life update that I've been having or been enduring for law school. As you guys have known, this is my fourth semester in law school and I have another three weeks before I finish this semester and enter into STEM 5. I have so many assignments to do. I'm still in the search of law firms and still waiting for them to accept my request or accept me into their law firm for an internship and it's really been hard and a lot of us a lot of law students for sim4 is sleep deprived because we have to finish a lot of our assignments we have to work on our tests and, and online learning so it's been really a tough ride it's been something that has been really really rigorous for us so I hope that you guys watching this video, if you're planning to learn law and if you guys are currently learning law, learning law I hope you guys could pray for us and I hope this video gives some sort of insight or something for you to reconsider when you're studying law because this is something that you will feel and experience when you're studying law. So in this video, I want to say that I might not be making a lot of YouTube videos anymore after this. This is my might be my last for this month and the upcoming months. If I were to make videos, uh, I feel like I want to make something else and I want to have some sort of variety on my channel. Maybe make horror videos or perhaps make videos related to current issues and something that I've always wanted to do. And perhaps if COVID ends, I'll make videos about me traveling the world. In the video, we are going to be talking about some of the tips or yeah, study tips that you guys could learn or could use when studying law. Number one, ramai orang kata yang macam kalau kita belajar law ni, kita kena selalu speaking ah, selalu kena faham bahasa Inggeris. Well, on one side, it's not always the case. It's not always the same. Bukan selalunya kena speaking or cakap bahasa Inggeris. Tapi iyalah, tapi maybe dalam kelas, in class, lecturer akan speak in English, maybe you want to check out Roja. But then it's not don't necessarily have to understand everything in English because you can understand it in your own way. As long as you understand the concept of the law, what the law wants to say. Studying law, they don't really focus that much on the grammar or literature inside your examinations or your assignments. Yes, it's true that grammar and vocabulary is important, but for me, I don't think we should focus too much on that. What's the point of studying in English? But kita tak tahu apa maksud law tu. Terong tak faham apa ni concept di sebalik law dalam bahasa Inggeris tu. Alright, you can you can guys can write write your own notes in your own language in bahasa Malaysia, bahasa Melayu yang ada kurang faham, kurang sendiri pun boleh tanya kawan-kawan kurang in in Malay and understand it in a different language. Yeah, kurang tak semestinya tak speaking, tak lah speaking 24/7 kan. Kalau speaking 24/7 masing Inggeris tu, I don't know, but it depends on the convenience of the person studying law. So yeah, kurang boleh je study law dalam bahasa Melayu and untuk fahamkan konsep dia. Secondly, kita akan cerita pasal timetable, okay? Setiap orang, setiap manusia ada cara mereka untuk belajar. Setiap orang ada pace dia, ada macam tahap kelajuan dia untuk belajar certain things. And dalam hidup ada manusia, ada orang that is able to determine, dapat boleh buat jadual belajar masing-masing. Contohnya dalam pagi tu, maybe mereka exercise ke, rehat-rehat dulu ke, bawa tengah hari, bawa, bawa kerja. So, I think for the second step is you guys kena cari timetable yang sesuai bagi korang. Korang, it's not fair, it's not right to compare yourself with other people, to copy other people's timetable. Again, setiap orang beza, setiap orang unik dengan cara masing-masing. So, cari timetables, cari study schedule yang sesuai bagi korang. Mungkin timetable korang tak sesuai dengan orang yang belajar last minute. Mungkin orang belajar last minute ni, kita kena faham yang diorang tu gifted. Kita tak, kalau nak jadi macam mereka tu, payahlah. Korang kena faham diri sendiri. Korang tak boleh betray yourself. You can't change something from yourself that is not yourself. <laughs> that's some sort of, that's, that's a really confused quote. But I hope you guys understand the gist. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Buat timetable and uh, aturkan masa korang dengan cara yang bijak berdasarkan kemampuan masing-masing. Thirdly and lastly, I guess you guys can when studying law, you don't need to read everything. Because kalau korang baca case law, kalau korang baca law report kan, dia punya pages tu berlambat gila. Ada boleh sampai 100 pages, ada boleh kan. Kalau last minute sangat pun, korang sebenarnya tak tak sepatutnya kena kena baca everything. Kita punya law report, we have the help part and 
memang yes memang betul yang lecturer cakap jangan baca help part je sepatutnya kita kena baca the whole case tapi kalau dah last minute and kita sebenarnya memang tak faham it's not I, for me I think it's not wrong for us to look at the help part because bila kita tengok kat help part kita boleh tengok and cari paragraph dia yang explain part help tu so bila korang pergi kat help korang tengok kat ayat last tu dia akan bagi tahu page dan korang kena pergi kat page tu baru dia explain lagi mendalam so korang tak payah tak, sebenarnya tak payahlah baca the whole case because when you look at the help part help tu ada paragraph dia dan merujuk kepada explanation principle law tu ataupun benda yang penting saja dalam case tu that is the last tip and perhaps the bonus tip that I could give in this video is that create your own notes I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous videos but creating your own notes is really important ni sama macam tulis yang macam faham dalam bahasa Melayu tu bila korang belajar dalam bahasa lain or faham dengan cara sendiri korang pun boleh sebenarnya kan buat notes masing-masing macam personally I think in the previous videos I've mentioned that I wrote my own notes on on Word documents on my laptop when the lecturer is talking I jot down everything that's important because kadang-kadang bila lecturer ajar lecturer tak akan sebut semua yang dia cakap tu tak akan ada dalam slides sebab semua pembelajaran kita it's all based on the slides so it's really important to know what the lecturer is saying during the lecture because again we might not know they're talking something outside the slides or something outside their designated lectures or classes because kadang apa yang lecturer cakap tu akan masuk dalam finals akan masuk dalam exams akan masuk dalam assignments so kita semua kena peka and should we Tengok kalau lecturer tu ada mention tak apa-apa Kalau lecturer tu cakap benda yang tak ada kaitan dengan slides tu uh, Kebarangkal yang tinggi it's, uh, There's a high possibility that it might be included in the ex assignments and exams And you guys need to take note Alright Kadang-kadang slides pun tak lengkap Slides pun kadang-kadang lecturer letak text dengan help yang ringkas Tapi dia tak bagi explanation yang mendalam so, Bila lecturer explain cases yang ringkas tu uh, Maybe korang boleh cut it your own notes Maybe what bullet points, mind map or any other way that you guys feel comfortable with But if that's all that I like to say in this video Thank you guys so much for watching this video Again, I might not be hanging around hanging around for this month and the months to come Because I'll be busy with my finals, my assignments and internship at my law firm again thank you guys so much for watching this video and i guess i'll be seeing you guys next time don't forget to subscribe like and share to this video as always stay classy and have a fantastic day ahead of you guys thank you guys so much